Hello and welcome to Firearm Freedom. This is going to be another first impressions video. In today's first impressions video, we are taking a look at the brand new Mira Safety CM. 8M. And before we get this video started, as always, I wanted to let you know the number one way that you can support me on the channel, and that is by clicking that first link in the description. It will bring you to the Firearm Freedom Merchandise Store. You can check out some awesome t-shirts that I know you guys are going to love, and I seriously appreciate you repping the brand. Make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, comment down below. That interaction should help make sure that these videos continue continue to show up in your subscription feed. The CM8M. This is a mask that I know a lot of people have been waiting for for quite some time. Mirror Safety originally teased these masks, man, almost about a year ago, and I actually have had this mask for about that long of a time. They sent these masks out to different reviewers like myself to get kind of a little bit of prototype feedback on how everyone was liking the mask and what everyone thought of it. They ultimately decided to delay the launch of that mask a little bit to make some upgrades to the actual visor itself and make it just a little bit better. So the masks that are going to be pre-ordered now are the fully updated copies of the 8M. Now, I have had this 8M, as I had mentioned, for quite some time, and I really didn't see that many issues with the prototype version. I guess a few other people did, and they just wanted to make it a little bit better before it hit the market. I'm really, really excited to finally do this review because I've been kind of chomping at the bit to get this mask on the big screen for a long time. Of course, full disclosure, what's my relationship with Mira Safety? As you guys heard me mention, they sent me this mask and it was sent for free for me to check out here on the channel and give my honest opinions. Mira did not pay me to review this mask in one way or another. I've always been very objective with Mira Safety products, and I've let you guys know the positives and also the negatives, and that's exactly what you're going to get in this video. Now, you will see a link down in the description and in the comment section. That is what's called an affiliate link. I am also an affiliate with Mirror Safety. What's that mean? Well, if you click on that link and you use the code FIREARMFREEDOM10, it will save you 10% off of this mask, and it will also give me a commission or kickback for you purchasing the item. If you don't want to support the channel, don't click on the link and buy it right off their website. And if you do want to support the channel, click the link. For me and my channel, you guys know that stuff never makes me have a more or less a biased opinion when it comes to the affiliate links. It just is one of those things that helps offset the costs of the channel. What is different with the 8M compared to the 6M and also the 7M that Mirror Safety has also offered in the past? The big complaint with the 7M and the 6M was the fact that the 6M, which is a more traditional full face respirator, it looks a lot more like something you would wear to paint in or use any sort of hardcore chemicals in or something like that. It has a full face visor that is very, very easy to see out of. It also allows a much less claustrophobic feeling because your entire face up here in the front is open, easy to see out of, and it's really nice for somebody that does not really have the experience wearing a gas mask. So if you have a family member that needs a gas mask for whatever the situation may call for, that's a great mask for that. However, if you were looking as a more tactically minded gas mask, it was nearly impossible to shoulder any rifle and get a reliable sight picture with that gas mask. You almost have to have a visible laser and you have to have some sort of a crazy extra tall riser to be able to get a cheek weld. And that's just obviously not ideal. Then we can look at the CM7M and that's that really unique, cool looking check mask 
that has two small viewing ports here that really just give it an awesome look. And it is very easy to get a cheek weld with that gas mask. I really enjoy it. I enjoy shooting rifles on it. Typically, you're still going to need a little bit of a riser, but it is more than possible to shoulder most rifles out there, which is pretty cool. Although you still had a little bit of ease when it came to shouldering a rifle, the trade-off and the downfall is you had much less field of view through the lenses in the mask. It was, again, more restricted. It was not quite as restricted as like an older Israeli mask or other surplus masks on the market but it was still restrictive. Fast forward to the 8M. They decided to combine the two features together and we have a very unique full face visor up here at the front that dips up with the nose section here and that allows for easier abilities to get a sight picture on a rifle, but they were able to dip the visor down as low as possible and give you much better field of view. This is pretty unique. And I actually also think that the visor looks pretty awesome as well. You are still going to need a riser to get a proper cheek weld with this visor. It is going to be longer. It's not as easy as getting a cheek weld as a 7M, it's just not. But the trade-off is you get way more field of view and you can still get a cheek weld with just a riser. I actually started using this mask way back in my first mirror safety papper review. And you guys may notice a little bit of a teaser because I was rocking that mask that whole video. And primarily I was using my Polish Tantal, which has a very unique dip down stock that actually works really well with a gas mask. And I was also using my night vision build, the 13.7 night vision build. And the reason why I was using that also in today's B-roll of the Mira Safety 8M is because I have a Unity Tactical riser on that and then an EOTech EXPS 3-0, which is the quick detach EOTech and it gets it even higher. And that is a perfect combination with this mask. You're also gonna notice the large voice diaphragm up here in the front of the mask that is almost identical to the Mira Safety 7M. And this is a phenomenal voice diaphragm. It's really easy to talk through this thing at the range. Whenever I had this on for over an hour or two hours, it was easy for me to talk and communicate with other people at the range. No big deal there. So I really like this voice diaphragm and it also looks great and it, it works really well. You have the ability to accept two 40 mil filters on either side of the mask. Primarily, you're generally gonna be using one 40 mil filter and it's gonna be on the opposite side of your strong side. So that way you can easily shoulder a rifle. Of course, if you had two, you're getting much better protection for a longer period of time. However, it's gonna be much more difficult to shoulder a rifle. If you're only shooting handguns, that's not gonna to matter to you. Mira did keep the same exhale valve that is also the sweat drainage area and also just drainage for condensation and everything that builds up in the mask. So that has been working great. I've never really had an issue with this exhale valve. I think it, it works really well. The really nice thing that they did here is they switched from the dreaded five strap design, which I know a lot of people don't like, and they went to a six strap design. And this was a huge step up in comfort of the mask. Now I've used a lot of five strap gas masks and I've never really had a huge issue with it for just me, my head shape, whatever. But the six strap is by far way more comfortable on the head. It's gonna distribute the weight, especially at the top of your head, a lot more comfortable. There's gonna be a lot less hot spots over time if you're wearing this for hours or an hour or two or whatever, for whatever reason. It's just way more comfortable to wear this mask with three straps going easily on each side. And I've had no issues with the straps. This has a really nice mesh backing for the back of your head. And they're also elastic, so it really suctions well to your face. They're easy to tighten, no issues there. As far as the seal on this mask, I've tried it with a few different scenarios, situations. I've also tried it with a helmet and night vision, and it does work. And I've never experienced a situation where I was breaking the seal. You guys might remember me saying in my 6M video that because of the full face lens that was on that, 
it essentially made it so that it was just, I don't know, it was kind of strange. It was easier for me to break my seal. It was like there was less suction on my face. So in certain situations of extreme hard use, running around, hitting a, a heavy bag or whatever, getting some cardio in, I found that certain times I was able to bump it and actually relieve my seal, which in certain environments is an absolute no-go, as you guys could imagine. As far as the issues that I believe they fixed with the lens here and with the visor up in the front, right now on the corners, you have a slight bit of distortion on the lens. It's just, it's ever so slight. You can barely see it, but when you have it on for the first time or when you're running around at the range, you notice a distortion on the lens here. Now, I don't really find that a huge deal, but I believe, don't hold me on this, but I believe they fix that with the updated visor and that's kind of what they were working on. And this lens is supposed to give you around 92% field of view, which is insane. Now, I can't really validate that. I don't know that it'll quite get you 92% field of view, that's insane, but I can tell you it is far better than all the other Mira masks that I've tried. This mask currently is on pre-order. I believe it's gonna start shipping out in late November, early December. Now that's one thing to consider. With everything going on in the world, Mira has had a really tough time getting this stuff out. There's been a little bit of a backlog, so just kind of be ready for that. And my one complaint so far in seeing the mask actually hit the market is gonna be price point. It's coming in around 50 bucks more than the 6M and the 7M. Now I know there's more R&D going on here and there's just more going on with the mask, with the manufacturing process, but I would like to see this mask in the future come down to the same price point or around the same price point as the 7M. I think it would just sell a lot better at that price point. Right now it's coming in at like 320 bucks. And if you're looking at gas masks on the market, there's a few different ways that people look at that. You have people hardcore into the gas mask world, mainly on the collecting side. They are on the surplus market, and the reality of it is, is you will find very similar masks to this made all over the place, and you will also find surplus masks that are identical to this that are less of a price point, sometimes far less of a price point. And that's just something you have to ask yourself. When you're buying a mask like this, or the 7M or the 6M, and you're buying it from Mira, you are getting a sealed, unexpired gas mask. And if you're buying it on the surplus market, generally, you are getting an unsealed, expired, quote unquote, gas mask. Now, we all know that a lot of gas masks are going to last a lot longer than the expiration date. It's just the difference of, I want this to be sealed, I want it to be unused, versus, hey, I know this isn't sealed, it's probably going to be fine. I know a lot of other people are asking the question, geez, why would I ever spend 300 bucks on a gas mask? And that's a question that I can't answer for you. When it comes to looking at gas masks as a whole, generally speaking, a larger percentage of the people looking at gas masks and using gas masks are looking for the LARP to look cool, and, and that's no problem. If you wanna get a gas mask and look cool and, and all that stuff, I totally get it, and that's why I, I rock a lot of my gas masks. They look great. And also, I think there's a huge benefit in training with a mask. Having the feeling of breathing through a freaking straw for two hours at the range definitely helps just overall training aspects of shooting at the range. So I think that is really practical. If you're looking for a gas mask for a prepping situation, there's a lot of other things you need to look at and a lot of other items you need to add to your prep to actually protect you from certain situations. Yes, anything biological or chemical, typically this mask is going to protect you from. Of course, this filter is capable of NBC, nuclear biological chemical filter. So it's gonna protect against all of those things, but your skin, other areas of your body, do you need a full hazmat suit? Do you need chemical gloves, chemical boots? Do you need a decontamination chamber to go into to decontaminate yourself from radiation? These are all things that many people forget. They buy a mask and they think, hey, cool, I'm totally protected. Any SHTF situation, I am good to go. And that's just not the reality. If you were looking to protect yourself from some biological agent, this will do the job and then some a lot of chemical agents, this will do the job, and then some. You just have to look at the situation. I think protecting yourself from CS gas 
or other things. That's a lot of the reason why I keep my masks. So you really need to ask yourself exactly what you need this mask for. And ultimately that's what you wanna ask yourself when you're looking at the different models as well. Some of the final points about the mask, you do have a drinking tube on the 8M. That's about standard. It's gonna work with the standard NBC canteen that generally comes with the Mira masks. I'm not sure if it's gonna come with it with this model for 320 bucks, I would hope so. And that's about going to wrap up this first impressions video on the 8M. Let me know if you guys have any other questions about this mask or anything else on the channel down below in the comment section. And you guys know I absolutely will get back to you. While you're down there, check out the links in the description to support the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more great videos coming soon.